Hello all, welcome to Netbook and welcome back to MuleSoft tutorial. Today I'm planning to talk about invoking a Java class with a data. As part of this tutorial, I'm going to explain about how we can invoke a static method, how we can instantiate a Java class, how we can invoke a non-static method. These are the three things I'm going to discuss today. So to start with, let me take a scenario. So this is my input, which I'm going to submit through HTTP URL. Then I'm expecting that the output is country code. So I will be passing this country as my input and I need to get a country code. That is one thing. I need to get a country using instantiate a Java class. I need to get a country. Okay. That is another one. The third thing is I need to get a country code with the country. What I mean is I need something like in hyphen India. And in our case, it is like just in over here. So I will be defining a non-static method country code with the country in Java class. I'm going to call a non-static method and get the results over here. That are the three things I'm going to discuss. Let's begin. If you see, I have already data view samples, which I have explained before. I'm going to use the same project over here. What I'm going to do is right click new mule configuration file. I'm going to say DW iPhone invoke java is the my file name click on finish now to accept my this request through http url i need to use http listener i'm going to use http listener over here and i'm going to use the same http listener configuration i'm going to say the path as slash java now next thing is the main important thing over here is transform message over here as i said my output should be looks like this one something right let me copy paste over here the output over here this is how i'm expecting in the json format so i just changed over here but i need to pass a country over here to get the country code right i'm going to take a payload dot country as my input for this but i need to call a java method over here to get that so here i'm going to say call static method and then so i'm going to save over here instantiate a java class to instantiate a java class i need to write a data view code over here then i need to call a non-static method but uh, not through the data view but i will be doing something differently okay so i will be showing that also so let me put it you know within the quotation to uh, bring out uh, the errors out okay now what i want to do is First thing is I need to call it Java. I should have a Java class accessible within the project. So if you want to write your custom Java classes, you can write it under SRC main Java. If you have any predefined Java classes in somewhere in the R file, you can add those dependencies into the form.xml and access them. So as part of this tutorial, I'm going to write some Java class over here. I'm writing a Java class country utils over here right click new class i'm going to give a package as com dot netbook dot utils and i'm going to say the name of this over here is country utils okay so that is how i'm going to do now we can finish over here now you can see this is my constructor over here so i can say this is my constructor over here first i'm going to define a static method and then I'm going to keep it instantiate Java class purpose. I'm going to have some constructor. I'm going to have a, a another constructor with the arguments. Then I'm going to define non-static method. So the first static method is I'm going to say public static string get country code. I'm going to pass a parameter called string country over here okay so that is a static method i'm going to define i'm going to define a nan static method over here similarly public it is a nan static i'm going to remove that static get country code with country okay i'm going to pass two parameters over here one more parameter string 
code over here country code comma country both i'm going to pass it over here i need to implement a logic over here then for instantiate a java class i'm going to use a country code uh, country utils as a constructor over here again but it is going to have a parameter called country over here okay this is going to be public i will say okay so the p should be small letter and i need to have one get method for this that also i'm going to define over here let me implement a logic over here the main aim of this tutorial is not writing a java class but writing a data view code to invoke this java class right so let me put it uh, you know the logic over here so if you see this here i define two variables over here and for the get country code the logic has been implemented like this here so what i am doing over here if the country if it is same equals to ignore course india i am passing as i am passing that country code as in similarly there are logics over here the finally i'm going to return that country code over here that is one thing now now if you see for initiate a java class i have another constructor with a parameter called country and i'm getting that country over here okay that is kind of a getter setter methods i'm defining over here then the finally non static method the non static method is implementation is something simple whatever the country it is coming over here i'm concatenating thing with iphone with again code over here then finally result is returning over here so that is the java class which i have over here so this is simple java class which i have in my project now so now coming back to your data view code i need to call that java class first i need to call that java method static method before calling the java classes you need to import that right import it is a java that's why you need to say java exclamatory symbol the qualified path of your java class so the complete package name over here this one right you need to copy this and in the data view import you need to put over here so there is a dot instead of dot you need to use a colon colon in data view to import that java class now this is a package only here till now then the java class name is over here country utils copy that and put it over here so that is how we can import a java class now we need to call a java method static method we need to say java method a java class over here colon colon the static method over here is i have a static method over here is get country code that is my static uh, method so over here get country code it is required one parameter i'm accessing that one parameter payload dot country from here and i'm passing to this method that simple it is you can call a static method now you need to instantiate a java class for that what i'm going to do is i need to call a constructor class over here constructor method over here so country utils colon colon if you want to instantiate a java class you need to use a new and within that you need to pass your country over here i'm going to pass as a india or maybe if you want to access it from here you can access it from here and dot country so that is how we can instantiate a java class now the next thing is you need to invoke a non static method you can't invoke a non static method from the data view directly over here what you can do is you can add a java dependency over here and i will show that how to add it also otherwise um so go to the add modules there is a java dependency add it over here like this to invoke a non static method first you need to initialize a java class for that you need to use a new over here i'm going to use a new over here and then you need to find a java class over here browse it over here you can type it country utils this is my java class and you need to select a constructor over here so from the drop down it will come automatically your constructor i have a two constructors i'm going to use 
country utils is the my constructor i'm going to inslice that into the some variable that is instance so this is creating one instance over here now what i need to do is i need to use a invoke component over here i'm going to use this invoke i have a variable instance variable that i'm passing over here then from drop here class i need to select country utils so i need to call a nand static method from the drop down you can find all the methods over here so here you can see all the method within that class it is going to show over here so my method nand static method is get country code with a country which i'm going to call it from here it is required two parameters i need to pass the two parameters in the arguments over here so arguments zero i'm going to say i n comma arguments one i'm going to say um i can directly take it from the payload dot country that is also you can take it over here so these are the two argument i'm passing whatever the results it is coming i want to store it into some variable what i'm going to say is my variable is country with the country code so that variable is i'm going to say country with country code save it then that variable i can pass it over here where's dot country code with the country so to invoke a NAND static method we use a invoke component over here and we will pass a arguments instance and java class and methods over here okay so let me deploy this i don't think so this is an error you can see there is no errors in the xml code that means it is not an error i'm going to right click run the project so while it is deploying let me go to the postman and create a request this is my url and a body i need to pass a uh, json request over here this is my json request i'm going to pass it over here let's wait for deploying this project you can see that it is deployed successfully let me clear the log and submit a request now send now you can see i have a country code in the country is in uh, india and country code with a uh, country i n i fun india that is how it is coming that means this is even printing from the java class this print statements over here using this code we are going to import the java classes and calling a static method over here and instantiate a java class over here and calling a non-static method using the invoke connector over here from the java module Hope this is clear and uh, hope it will be useful for your project. That's it for today. Thank you for watching Netbook. Please like, share, subscribe Netbook. See you in the next video. Thank you.